From businesses trying to collect unpaid bills to people hurt in crashes, thousands wonder when they'll get their day in court. The coronavirus pandemic has clogged an already backlogged system of civil cases. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman digs deeper into its impact. In a Fort Pierce courtroom, a quadriplegic in his late 50s waited four years to finally have his day in court. The trial this March had gone on for two weeks and then came to a screeching halt. It was the last jury trial that was being conducted in Florida before COVID shut it down. West Palm Beach attorney Trey Lytle represented that man in a medical malpractice case. The judge delayed the trial for a month. The same jury was willing to come back but then the case was delayed indefinitely. He was faced with a situation, do I wait years longer? He's been paralyzed, unable to use his arms and legs, or do I take a lesser reasonable settlement now? Trey Lytle says his client, faced with mounting medical bills, settled with the doctor's insurance company. Well, it is unquestionably been the most challenging time in my career. Krista Marks is a chief judge of Florida's 15th Circuit in Palm Beach County. Contact 5 found the state's court system's most severe backlog appears to involve civil cases. According to the state's Trial Court Budget Commission, civil case delays are expected to nearly double. And through next summer, the commission expects a backlog of more than 800 civil jury trials. It really gets people negotiating and, and going. And so to be in this complete stall, to, to a large extent, does have a lot of ramifications that there's no jury trials. In Martin County, the 19th Circuit hopes to resume jury trials this fall. The circuit sent contact five pictures of plexiglass installed at the judge's bench and witness stand. The jury box and jury room are marked for social distancing. Even if trials resume before the end of the year, many personal injury attorneys fear that the backlog is so severe it could take years for the system to catch up. Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.